Does a washing machine need a dedicated circuit? The answer is yes. That was a simple video, but a couple other things that I want to talk about along with that. What you want for a dedicated uh, circuit branch for a washing machine is a 20 amp breaker and you're going to be feeding a duplex receptacle. If you put a single receptacle in where it's just one plug, that has to be a 20 amp receptacle where it's got the little, uh, one of the plugs has a little prong that goes, the, uh, goes sideways. So if you put a, but if you put a duplex receptacle in, it can be a 15 amp receptacle. That's what the code requires, and I suppose it's because if uh, you have a single receptacle, that would potentially be carrying the full load, whereas if you have two, it, mo it may not be. Uh, the second thing that is really important uh, to know is that if you have a gas dryer along with your washer, you do not have to run a separate dedicated circuit for the dryer. You can use that same dedicated circuit that is for the washing machine to power the dryer. Uh, Third thing I guess you should remember is if you are in a basement like I am, you are for sure going to need that outlet to be ground fault protected. And uh, depending on the circumstances, there you may not need it if you are uh, far enough away from your sink. If you're within six feet of a sink, and most laundries are, uh, then you still have to do ground fault circuit interrupter as well. So you might as well just plan on a ground fault circuit interrupter outlet right there on the wall it needs to be readily accessible so that you can reach it for testing it uh, monthly I think is what the National Electrical Code says so uh, that is just a little bit of information for you this is going to be 12 2 wire 20 amp breaker and a 15 amp ground fault uh, circuit interrupter outlet and it can power both the washing machine and a gas dryer Thanks for watching, I appreciate it a lot. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll do my best to share helpful information and keep everything as accurate as possible. If there's anything that I say that is incorrect, please correct me in the comments right away and I'll do my best to make that right. Thanks again, talk to you later.